Welcome. We have solution. To solve this kind of mathematical problem, it's easy and straightforward. We have 1 divided by 9, every centrist power 1 divided by 9. Follow me to the end of this solution so that we'll be able to know how to solve this kind of problem. Don't forget, if you have a raised power 1 over n to be equal to n into square root of a. So, using this principle, we can easily move folder and write 1 over 9, this power 1 over 9, to be equal to Nine into square root of one divided by nine. Once you understand it up to this stage, it's easy and straightforward. So don't forget when you have n into root a divided by b, it can simply be written as n into square root of a divided by n into square root of b according to rule of mathematics once you understand it up to this stage we can easily have 9 into square root of 1 everything divided by 9 into square root of 9 following what we wrote earlier from here if you have n into root of 1, it can simply be written is equal to 1. Therefore, 1 divided by 9 into square root of 9 is what we have now. Now, let's move on. Having that, that can be simply be written as 1 divided by 9 into square root of 9 to be equal to 1 divided by n into square root of 9 multiplied by n into square root of 9 raised by n minus 1 divided by n into square root of 9 raised by n minus 1. From here, we have 1 divided by 9 into square root of 9 multiplied by 9 into square root of 9 raised by 9 minus 1 divided by 9 into square root of 9 raised by 9 minus 1. Once you understand it up to this stage, so the above can be simply be written as 1 divided by 9 into bracket square root of 9 multiplied by 9 into bracket square root of, if you do 9 minus 1, it will give you 8 divided by 9 into bracket square root of 9 this by if you do 9 minus 1, you have 8, then 9 this by 8. So if you solve this out, you'll be having 1 times 9 into square root of 9 this by 8. That will give us 9 into square root of 9 this by 8 divided by 9 into square root of 9 this power 1. According to rule of indices, dot 9 this power 8. Once you understand it up to this stage, you can easily move on. So we have 9 into square root of 9 raised by 8 divided by 9 into square root of 9 raised by 9. So from here, we have our 9 into square root of 9 raised by 8 divided by 9. Because 9 into square root of 9 raised by 9 will simply give us 9. So this will now give us 9 into square root of 3 raised by 3, everything close to by 8, according to the rule of indices. Everything divided by 9. So this will now simply give us 9 into the square root of 3 raised to the power 16. That is 2 times 8. We give us 16. Everything divided by 9. From here, we have 9 
in the square root of 3 raised power 16, everything divided by 3 raised power 2. So it shows that you can simply rewrite 9 as 3 raised power 2 because 3 times 3 will give us 9. So therefore, 3 raised power 16 divided by 9, everything divided by 3 raised power 2. So now we go to 3 raised power 16 divided by 9 multiply by 1 over 3, divide by 3 raised to the power 2, multiply by 1 over 3. So from here, 1 over 3 can be simply be written as 3 raised to the power minus 1. Therefore, we have 3 raised to the power 16 divided by 9, multiply by 3 raised to the power minus 1. Everything divided by 3 raised to the power 2, multiply by 3 raised to the power minus 1. From here, we have 3 raised to power 16 divided by 9 minus 1 everything divided by 3 raised to power 2 minus 1 so if we take the SCM we now be having 3 raised to power 16 minus 9 divided by 9 everything divided by 3 raised to power 1 2 minus 1 equals 1 so now we are having 9 into square root of 3 raised to the power 7, everything divided by 3. Therefore, we have, if you have 1 divided by 9, everything raised to the power 1 over 9, it will now be equal to 9 into square root of 3 raised to the power 7, everything divided by 3. Thank you for watching.